The R.D. Sharma Math Textbook The Nightmare for Many Students Well, at least for me. Well, first of all, let me make it clear. Buying such a big book for studying math was never my idea. So one day, my father actually, when buying my other reference books, bought me this big math book. And I had no idea how I was supposed to complete this. And in fact, I got this book even before my ninth grade ended. Like it was just sitting on my shelf. I did not dare to touch it. And my parents suggested that maybe, you know, as soon as ninth grade ended, if I started doing one page every day, at least maybe I'll be able to complete at least half the book by 10th grade. And it was not an easy thing. I did not understand the book at all. It was too much in detail. I am a person who cannot understand complicated words. If you put, if you give me the same concept but in more simple language, well, I'll definitely be mastering that concept. But in complicated textbook details and textbook words, it is just not my thing. So the Ardi Sharma book basically has the entire CBSE 10th grade portions and I'm going to be showing you one chapter which I did which was polynomials and I've done it for term one. So I'm just going to go over how I did the book. So this is the first page. It basically has a theory part of our same CBSE textbook. To be honest, I don't refer for the theory part uh, much, um, you know, in Adi Sharma because it's the exact same of what we have in our um, NCRT textbook, but just a little more complicated, which is not even going to come. Like I've never had a theory related question in my math exam, even in term one board exam, it was not that evident or something. It was mostly application based. So I just read through it and just highlight when I'm reading. But going back, if I try and go back and if I'm going to be revising it, no, that's not happening. I don't use Adi Sharma to like reread and reread the same points because see, if this is my NCRT textbook and it literally has the same points. So why refer the same thing from two textbooks and just confuse yourself? So just keep in mind, Adi Sharma is just an external source where you get a lot of hot questions, but Conceptual wise, you have to be clear with the NCRT textbook, which is very important, especially if you see the polynomials, it has a lot of formulas and a lot of concept based questions on, you know, graphs and stuff, which I just refer the NCRT. It is more than enough. Coming back to R.D. Sharma and what I use it for. So as you can see, many questions and examples are from NCRT. So again, there's no point of redoing those questions. So don't do it again and again. Look for questions which are unique, different, which you haven't come across in NCRT. That is why I always say, first do the NCRT textbook and then do any other external source. Now this question here is from NCRT Exemplar. And again, if you've done the Exemplar, you don't have to do it. But I think I did not do that at that moment. And that's why I've highlighted it. All the highlighted questions are the ones I felt was not very much in the textbook. You know, um, these types of questions where the alpha, uh, beta uh, values were of different types, like it is in the numerator, denominator, addition, subtraction. It's just very versatile, which I like. So coming to the question on which the whole video is based is, do we need to solve the entire R.D. Sharma textbook? Well, my answer is no, you don't have to. There are some good exercises. There are some good questions which you can definitely give a try, like the one I've highlighted. And um, if you feel that you're confident enough, you don't have to solve each and every question. And I'm pretty sure you don't have the time to solve these many questions. Uh, but definitely every time you open the textbook, solve different types of questions. And I found the MCQ questions very useful, especially because my term one, you guys know, was MCQs. So um, such challenging MCQs were nowhere to be found when first MCQs were introduced. So rather than using this book as a textbook, use this book as a question bank where you make use of all the different types of questions, the versatile and totally different concept based questions that are given here so that you have an idea of all types of questions that can be made on that concept. And there are also answers given at the back which you can you know cross check with easily. So my suggestion and point of view is first do NCRT, thoroughly and after you've mastered that then move on to Adi Sharma and use it as a question bank. 
so if you've been watching my video till the end thank you so much for sticking around and it really means a lot that you checked out my video make sure to subscribe because i put a lot of important content for students of especially my age and just sharing my experience as a 10th grader and as a student of cbse 10th grade and i'm just so glad to share all my views and opinions with you all so do share this video with your friends who you feel might find this video useful.